Okay, so we're reviewing the muscles of the face. We'll start off with the facial muscles. So first off, we have our platysma. That's the subcutaneous muscle kind of going this way, this big long sheet here. Next, you have the orbicularis oris, which shapes the mouth. It would be under if we lift this up and go right along here. And the buccinator, also you cannot see, but you can kind of sort of feel it when you stick your finger in his mouth along the side of the cheeks. It would be in this position here. And your nasal, you have your levator nasolabialis, which snarls, which snarls, which does the movement of the snarl over here, right over there. You see the fibers kind of running like that. Next up, we have our muscles of muscles and eyelids around the eye. Uh, your orbicularis oculi would be the muscle going like this. Maybe it's better to see it on this dog here. It would be just around the circumference of the eye. Next you have your retractor anguli oculi lateralis. Uh, we didn't dissect for it, but it would be at the corner of the eye, like a thin little strap, strand, stuff going on. And lastly, there's the levator palpebrae superioris, which raises the upper eyelid. Uh, we don't see it, we did not dissect for it again, but it would be somewhere over there. Next, let's move on to the muscles of mastication. Uh, we'll start off with the temporalis. That would be here, filling up the temporal fossa. We removed it. Big muscle right over here. And it was kind of covered a bit by the frontalis which was not mentioned in the lab, but I think everyone saw it anyway. <laughs> it's like, kind of going like that. Next you have the masseter. Uh, it's removed in this one, but you can see a piece of it here. It's the gigantic muscle that everyone had a lot of fun picking out. Uh, next you have the medial and lateral pterygoids, which I don't think we dissected for, so let's just skip over those. <laughs> uh, next up, the digastricus, which is a very normal, nice looking muscle right there. So for the lingual muscles, you have your styloglossus, hyoglossus, and genioglossus. We'll start off with genioglossus, because it's the easiest one. It's right here. So glossus, they all go to the tongue. So genioglossus is this one right there. Next up is your hyoglossus. You have to flip it around and look at it this way. And that is underneath the styloglossus, which is this guy. This guy here. So styloglossus underneath. If you see that, hyoglossus. And let's see. So we did styloglossus, hyoglossus, genoglossus, right? And this guy here is the thyrohyoideus. And going on to your hyoideuses, you have. We don't have a list of this, but anyway, I'll, I'll do this. So, sorry, let's flip it back this way. So this thin sheet here is the mylohyoideus, and the one kind of very close to it, along here, this one, is the geniohyoideus. And I think that's about it for those. There's nothing we can see on the other 